Hi, this is Cindy Belindy 61. Um, I live in Joplin and it's one month since the tornado. It, today is 6-22-2011 and I just want to do an update on where things stand and uh, what's been going on this last month. Anyway, and yesterday I watched some videos comparing this to a movie called The Crazy and how there was some fungus or some virus in the water supplies and I thought, wow. Um, I really don't know if anything's in our water supply or not, but I do know my block was not affected by the tornado. I live on the south end of town. Um, if there was a 33 block, or I would live on that, but there's not. The damage went from like 32nd Street to, I don't know, maybe 15th Street or a little past that. That's going north and south and from east and west. Uh, from what I can tell, it seems to have taken the whole town. Um, but anyway, so it was pretty much all over before I even knew anything was going on. Um, you know, it was getting dark and it looked like it was a storm and everything. But like, all we had was like a little limb in the tree in the yard. We didn't get anything. It's like two totally different worlds. Uh, I just, you know, a block away from the affected area. Um, anyway, immediately, and one clue that we knew there was a problem they shut off our water Sunday night uh, before we even knew that anything was wrong. We started getting calls and 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 stuff. Um, they had already shut off our water immediately. Um, so, um, so that was kind of interesting. And then even they kept the water off for like a day. And then even when they turned it back on, we had a boil order for over a week. So basically, you could take showers and stuff. Uh, and run your dishwasher because it's got the heater and stuff in there and uh, but you had to drink bottled water for, to make your ice with and to do coffee or anything like that um what else happened we did have a curfew there there was national guard here like i would get up early in the morning at 4 30 to go to the y and after a couple of days i, I after i think first day i didn't I don't know if I tried the second day or not. I might have because the Y was not in the affected area. But when I drove there, it was just bizarre. That from 32nd on, it was all blocked off, and you had police and National Guards uh, patrolling the place. And but no one's pulled me over, you know, or anything. And so I get to the Y, and, and they were closed. And so I was a little irritated. And after a week of that, I went and said, "Hey, what's going on? You guys weren't hit." You weren't in, you're not in the curfew area. How come you're not opening on time? You know, my, I need to get back to exercising. And they said, well, we're going to, so tomorrow or something. I think this was Memorial Day when I finally just got fed up and went to talk to them. And um, what else happened? Um, you know, we found out about the fungus a little bit later. So, and I don't really know anyone that's affected by the fungus, thankfully. Um... And another thing, uh, what else? I did drive, uh, I, like I said, I don't live there, and for a long time you couldn't get in there. You had to have a reason to be there. And like, I didn't, I don't live there, so I didn't have a reason. But now I do have to drive through there now to uh, like go to the mall or go get my car looked at or you know go to Target or anything. And um, it, it is just bizarre. It is. I'm going to, for the picture on this, I'm going to show a picture I found in the, the paper. And it's pretty typical of uh, what, what Joplin looks like now. It took out, I guess, a big part of the town. They say about six or 8,000 uh, dwelling places. So right now, uh, places to live is at a real uh, shortage. And another thing, too, the people that was in the shelters, that are have you know they might not have as many resources or have family to take them in or 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 something they're being encouraged to relocate and in the paper people are saying you know like well they can't relocate you know maybe they're on disability or something and their doctors are in Joplin or maybe um, uh, one guy said he couldn't because of parole violation you know it's be a violation of his parole he couldn't um, I think the people. Uh, that you know better off you know and i'm not even saying wealthy wealthy just the people had jobs and maybe family in town they have more resources so they're able to um you know bounce back a little bit better and try to rebuild and stuff but one thing interesting they're not allowing business permits they are um 
making them wait. It was going to be 90 days. Well, people's having a fit over that. So it's making it 60 days. They said that if they don't have everything, um, all the debris removed by a certain date, it could bankrupt the city. I guess they're supposed to have so much FEMA money or something. Or I don't know what is it, but they they said they're not letting them do it because they got to get the stuff off first. I think they are letting businesses have building permits, just not homes. And um, what else? I really can't think of much else. I haven't seen any excess number of cops or uh, after the curfew was lifted, it was on for two or three weeks. Um, I hadn't seen any more National Guard. Uh, all the big insurance companies seem gone. Uh, whenever I drove to the other end of town yesterday to have my car looked at, um, I did see a few places are still uh, doing some relief efforts. But a lot of the places, it was just a big show for the TV cameras. Um, and as soon as the TV crews left, they, they closed up shop. Uh, some of the places still are helping, but uh, not all. And um, the Red Cross, or uh, I think that's who it was. They was in the Missouri Southern uh, a building in there. Well, they've moved to a smaller location, and they're trying to get everyone out. Oh, they're moving FEMA trailers into a few places. I haven't seen anything. I just saw it on the news and read about it in the paper. And so we're just going to have to see what happens. And um, uh, if anything interesting happens, I'll keep you guys updated, okay? Bye.